What am I doing, Jeff? You are warming your one testicle by the fire. <laughs> Look, I think we should probably let everyone know that I actually have more than one testicle. <laughs> Not here. No. <laughs> I have testicles all over the United States. That's true. Right, Jeff? Yeah, they're friends of this show. <laughs> but soon, they will come together and form a testicle army <laughs> that will march somewhere <laughs> where will they march to jeff well they, they march all over it's kind of like a testicle voltron <laughs> what's that well when all the lions would form c come together to form a giant robot all hey you know what do you know what do you ever see that uh, never mind the lions do you ever sure. do you ever see the pt barnum in the circus when they have the uh the elephants yeah sure they like they used to have elephants and the elephants would join uh nose to tail tail nose to tail yeah. uh, trunk or trunk trunk to tail and then they would play the music for some reason they would always play the theme music to hawaii 5 -0. right <laughs> there's no elephants in hawaii have have, in, have you ever gone trunk to tail <laughs> I believe it's called a Voltron, and oh, yes, yeah, I okay. have. All right, all right. Yeah. Yes, I have. Have you ever? Uh, yeah, oh, many times. Yeah, sure. Did you yeah. ever? Uh, you ever? Uh, you ever been to Hawaii? Yes, I have. Where? I've been to Maui. <laughs> did you enjoy it? I I sure did. <laughs> what were you doing in Maui? I have a little uh, little business uh, down there. What do you do? Sell surfboards? Yeah, surfboard, surfboard business. Jeff's uh, surf shop. <laughs> So what you're really saying is you sell marijuana. I do, I do. <laughs> Some good stuff. What kind of marijuana do you sell? Uh, well, we've got the uh, trunk to tail. That's a really strong... <laughs> good stuff. You sell the King Bubba? Got the King Bubba, yep. King, King Bubba. <laughs> One of the writers told me the current name for uh, marijuana type, and I'm using it now. Yeah, you're hanging on to that. Yeah, yeah, King Bubba, like I know what it is. Right. I haven't smoked mara, 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 what did they call it again? <laughs> Are you sure you're not smoking it right now? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think what happens, I used to work with a guy, when I worked in construction in uh, Harlem mm -hmm. uh, years ago, there was a guy called Eric I worked with, who was a Jamaican guy. And uh, I, I was talking to him one day, and I rather stereotypically accused him of smoking marijuana. Right, okay. And he said, no, man, I stopped smoking marijuana about 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting for it to wear off. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I'm in that kind of position, really. Yeah, yeah. You're still waiting for it to wear off. Wear off. Yeah. That's how I feel about about this. Show. I think I think it just wore off. Yeah. <laughs> what What were we talking about? It's all tried up, it's been a long, long day, and you got the sad man at the door. But hang on, leave the TV on, and let's do it anyway. It's okay, you can always sleep through work tomorrow. Hey, 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 tomorrow's just your future. Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Nationwide. Nationwide is on your side. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
if you would just let your applause die. My God, it's wow. gone already. That was fast. What Yay! The hell? Boom! Nothing. It was like I came out, they squeezed me hard and fast, and a diamond popped out. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That, was Bo that was Bob's big warm-up tonight. That was the warm-up. Yeah, yeah, that was the warm-up from Bob tonight. Squeeze them so hard, a diamond will pop out. Right. Have you ever been squeezed so hard? Yeah, yeah, many times, yeah. I had, I had an entire jewelry store come out of my ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> an entire jewelry store. Store. Out of my ass, yes. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yes, thank you. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great day. A great day uh, for fans of uh, James Bond. We love James Bond, don't Big we? Big fans. Yeah, Big should fans. we all, oh, oh, go money, oh, ah. No, that's James Bond. Sean Connery, that's Sean Connery. Yeah, Connor. yeah. Uh, as, what? That's you doing Sean Connery. Well, as James, James Bond. Bond. As James Bond, yes. <laughs> Anyway, there was a press conference in England. They announced the new Bond movie. It's going to be called Spectre. Do we have a poster for it? No, no, that's a <laughs> different one. Hell. Different ones. Can we see a real poster? There you are. It, look, somebody squeezed it so hard, a diamond popped. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, at the press conference, they unveiled James Bond's new car, and it's not even out yet, and they haven't even made it, and Jay Leno has two. <laughs> And there are rumours that the arch-villain Blofeld is in the movie. You know Blofeld, the, the Bond villain, he's bald, rich, utterly detestable. Do you have a picture of him? There he is. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> they're bringing... Yeah. <laughs> if they're, uh... <laughs> yeah. Some things are more gratifying than others. Yeah, they sure are. If they're bringing past, uh, past characters back, though, they should bring back Sean Connery as Bond's cranky dad. Oh, yeah. I think. Uh, <laughs> Sean, stop! around there all day and get a job. All you do is <laughs> around. <laughs> you do you do what? What's that? You do what? Well, you know, if someone isn't moving or going to get right. a job, they're just uh, <laughs> Right, okay, got it. I got it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a chess game this every damn night, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> and this time, the Bond girl this time is Monica Bellucci, who's very, very beautiful. Oh, yeah. But the producers of the movie are making a big deal out of the fact she's the owned, oldest Bond girl ever. She's like, she's quite, oh, she's older than, she's like 50 or something, Monica Bellucci. No, that's not old, but it's for a Bond girl. Yeah, for a Bond girl. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, sure. You're like, oh, oh, oh. what the hell? <laughs> Hey, you know they're going to make a big deal of it out and they give her a Bond girl name that makes her sound a little bit old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you do one then. Yeah, okay, uh, like uh, Ivana Play Bingo. If I... <laughs> All right. Uh, Miss uh, Menopause. Menopause. Yeah, that's good, yeah. I like that one, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I know. Uh, Anita Supplement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Havna Hot Flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Eileen Anna Walker. Okay. Right. Anna, Anna Walker. 2015 is going to be a big me uh, year for the moviegoers because you get SpongeBob movie for the kids, you get Avengers 2 for the teenagers, you get uh, James Bond for the action fans, you get Fifty Shades of Grey for the cat ladies and Jeff. Everything's yeah. going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, you want to do the joke? Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's the joke, the topical joke tonight. Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> A California grandmother was arrested for mailing pot to her granddaughter. All right. <laughs> Police became suspicious <laughs> when a woman was actually excited to get a letter from her grandmother. Yeah. 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 There. there you are. Is a joke. Yeah. I'm not doing another. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh -huh. oh, what? No, no. When it's, when it's used in the form of an expression, it's not a cuss word. In my country, that's the way it is. <laughs> oh, and because I'm Scottish, which means, of course, you know what the problem yeah, is Yeah, he's here. racist. You're he racist. a racist. racist. Uh, that, that is the problem. Is he, is he standing or is he <laughs> down? <laughs> is he? I can't tell. I can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I think he's standing up. Oh, he's where, standing up. All right. Which is, that's what it's called if you do your business while standing. That's standing. Standing, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a German word, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, if you can, it's a very difficult trick. If you can actually go go to <laughs> and stand up at the same time, it's called standing. Standing. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever? Oh, Are yeah. you standing right now? Oh, right now, yeah. And there's an entire jewellery store down here. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. All right. Coming up, we continue to bide our time until it's someone else's problem after this. After this. tell you it's tweet mail time brought to you by standings jewelers conveniently located where the sun don't shine standings <laughs> yeah. play the jingle twitter twitter tweeting yeah. ephemeral ephemeral fleeting fleeting who gets web facebook twit so has no checks the tweets 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 and so emails. Oh, email. Email time again. All right, Jeff. This is from Ray in Hollywood. All right. Ray, sure. Yeah, yeah, Ray. yeah. Hollywood, yeah. Ray. You ever been to Hollywood? I bet. Yeah, Ray. Yep, I've been there. Yep. <laughs> You've been, I've been with been, Ray. Been with Ray in Hollywood. In Hollywood. Correct. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. I know, I know, I do. I just thought if I said correct, the sound effects guy would hit the ding button. And, and he did. Wow. <laughs> Says, Craig, I've noticed the Queen hasn't called you in a while. Are you two having a row? Her Majesty the Queen? No, I think oh. we're all right. I, maybe she's busy. I don't know. I haven't heard from her in, in a while, but... Oh! Hello? <laughs> Hello, Your Majesty. It is Your Majesty the Queen. How are you, Craig? Um, Your Majesty, have you been smoking a bit of the King Bubba? A little bit. Yes, I'm sorry. I was I was just now standing. <laughs> you know what? Hold on a sec. Can you hold on a second? Certainly, yes. I, I'd really like a knighthood, you... Tootsie Frootsie. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> So, what, you what know, you stop saying, saying the Queen's standing. Yeah, what the hell? Uh, you know, not you, the Queen. Yeah, what do you, yeah, don't talk to me. Uh, just in case you knew anybody that knew I the understand. Queen. I understand, okay, all right. <laughs> we'll make that happen for you. Your Majesty. You are not getting that knighthood. Nah. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Do you know what? Maybe, maybe... Yeah, all right. No, no, don't. Maybe uh, Evil Santa could get me a knighthood. Oh, Evil Santa. Evil Santa's been around quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't oh, know. hold on. <laughs> Hello, little Craigie Wakey. It's e Evil Santa yeah, yeah. Claus. Yeah. The thing is, Evil Santa, is you're not really evil. You're just, you're just a bit of a jerk. Yes, I am. I mean, you don't do anything actually bad, right? No, but you do. <laughs> like for the last ten years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but that, you're not being evil. You're just being a... Ay, caramba. Oh, is someone's feelings hurt? Uh, do you want to go trunk to tail with Santa Claus? <laughs> <laughs> nice haircut. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> What the hell, man? Yeah, I can't believe that guy. Sure. I hate that guy. Sure. You know, I hate him, but I kind of love him. Well, you love, yeah, yeah. You know, I kind of hate Evil Santa, but I kind of love Evil Santa. I think he's genuine. He is. He's real. He's one of the only genuine people in show business. He is. Evil he is. Santa. He'll tell you like it is. He, he says it like it is. He's like Dr. Phil in a red jacket. That's right. <laughs> This is from Constance. Uh, Constance uh, I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah, I <laughs> Thank you. This is from Cynthia in Danbury, Connecticut. Well, how do you do? Um, hello. 
She says, uh, Dear Craig, my sister-in-law wants to get married on your last show. Can you make that happen pretty please? I'm afraid I can't. <laughs> I'd love to, but unfortunately, I'm doing something. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You, I don't know. Doing... She wants to get married on the show. I can't have somebody get married on the show. Then I'll be all good and people will like it and stuff. <laughs> you got the wrong show. <laughs> You know, if people, if people like it, we might have to stay on the no, air another time. Don't, don't even say no. it. Uh, this is from Avery in Little Rock, Arkansas. You ever been there? Little Rock, yeah. Had one of those. <laughs> I, once, I once got squeezed so tightly a Little Rock booked out of it. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. Uh, Avery, that's a, uh, is that a lady's or a man's name? That's Avery. Uh, Avery, that's that good. It's both. I think it's applicable to both. Applicable. Is it like Susan? Yeah, my brother's name is Susan, yeah. Yeah, I know, I met him. <laughs> Susan Peters. Susan Peters. <laughs> At this late date, we're introducing a new character. Now, now, after Susan all this. Peterson. Susan Peterson, Jeff Peterson. Oh, excuse me. Who's this? Hi, it's Susan Peters. <laughs> Susan Peterson? Why, Susan, Jeff's brother? Yes, I've I mean, been... Yeah, late, brother, late, yeah. Yes, that's me. Hey, hey, Jeff, it's your brother, Susan. Oh, hey, hey, tell him I said hey. He, uh, Jeff says hey. Oh, great. How are you guys doing? So sad the show's going off there. <laughs> Too bad you introduced me this late in the game. This is one of those things, yeah, I, Susan. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was standing. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you are. That was another scintillating email and yeah. tweet segment brought to you by uh, uh, Gay Robot Skeleton, yeah. uh, Not a Real Horse, and a foreigner that doesn't give a Right. <laughs> right. is an actor. He's a comedian. He is one of the finest jugglers the world has ever seen. That's true. He is a chef. He is a pilot. He is a scientist. He is a... Stander. Stander. <laughs> He's one of the great standers of all yes, time. Yes, he is. Yes. He hosts The Price is Right on CBS. He is my friend. He's Drew Carey, yes. everybody. Drew Carey. Oh, all right, all right, get, get over it. This is Drew Carey. Come on. But I'm a scientist and a chef. Oh, uh, yeah, and a great stander. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what Stand standing is? A stander. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, hey, Jeff. Hey, man, how are you? Good, nice to see Good you. Good to see you. Looking great. Thank you, too, buddy. Hey, 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 over here, Daddy. Come on. <laughs> hi, horse. <laughs> Gotta say hi to everybody. Yeah. They were on the prices, right? You know, say it. Oh, that's true. Yeah, 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 they were on the prices, right? How's it going down there? Still giving stuff away? Yeah, cars, trips, cash. Yeah, you know. beautiful, man. That's why CBS spends all the money on, hence this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll be doing this soon. You're, you are, you're like, you're first up, right, for the yeah, guest yeah. hosting? Yeah, yeah, and the first week and the last week. First week and the last week? So you like to top and tail it and, like, do it around? And, I think, and, uh, and, I think like, the very last show I do here, the last week of the set, I'm going to have uh, auction off chances for people to come here and smash the set. Good idea. Whatever will be left, my friend. <laughs> just like everyone in the audience, so just if you if you want to you come out with a sledgehammer, just break the desk and stuff like that. The, sure. And no. like the very end of it. No. Yeah, no, it's all right. It won't be this set. I'm taking this. 
<laughs> like whatever set they have. Yeah, no, they'll have a set for you, I'm sure. They can, uh, you know, you'll have a table and stuff, and you'll interview people. Yeah. Who are your guests? Do you know who you're going to have guests? Uh... Penn and Teller's been booked. Right. Uh, Magicians. Yeah. Conjurers. That's good idea. That's all I know. No, that's good. Uh, we, I used to have, you know what this I, said, I talked to the guy, he sent me, he sent me, he sent me an email Monday. Everybody, he's got booked for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, I tell you, you know, we had Magic Week on this show a couple of times when we did a lot of different magicians. Did you? I'm go yeah, I'm going to tell you why we did it. A friend of mine got into a spot of bother in Vegas. <laughs> right? Did I tell this story? So a friend of mine got in a spot of other bits. So he got into a little trouble and he found himself um, in a very small hotel room that was quite cheap. And, and so I called a friend, a guy that I knew in Vegas, and he said, yeah, I can get him out of jail, but maybe you could book some magicians for me. So I went, yeah, we'll have magic week. He went, fine, he'll be on the first flight out of there. And I got him out of Vegas. There you go, man. That's <laughs> so. A lot of trouble. So uh, that's the, I mean, for legal reasons, that's all that happened, really. <laughs> it's a good reason to have Magic Week. Yeah, yeah, and actually, it turned out great. I love magicians. Yeah. Yeah. Fun, so. Can you do magicianing? Uh, no. I can make my career disappear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, man. I think you're doing great. You came, we were talking about this the other day. You, you came out here, uh, you walked here from Cleveland, Ohio. Yes. Um, the, in, in the snow. The, yes. With a, a handkerchief and a stick. Right, exactly. Yeah. And you got a Clean job. Underwear and peanut butter, and the, that's all I had when I came here. And your first job was uh, you were the, in Teletubbies, you were the baby, remember? I was the baby. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, got a job as a, worked, for, worked as a male stripper for a while. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh, it was a dollar to get in, five dollars to get out. Yeah! Boom, boom, boom! Do, 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 do! <laughs> <laughs> Are you good, man? You look great. You oh, keeping up with the exercise and stuff? I was a chicken choker. Oh, God, are we still doing jokes? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I was a chicken choker at Kenny King's for a long time, for at KFC. A, a chicken choker? Yeah, I was a chicken choker at KFC. Uh, <laughs> somebody's got to choke the chickens there. <laughs> I was the guy. <laughs> You're gonna have to deal. You're gonna have to deal with this as well. Yeah. Oh no, you're, he's going too. Yeah, we're all out of here. It's like there's gonna be a couple of cameras and a light. That's it. It'll, it'll be you, a flashlight. That's and, all I need, man. Yeah. Cameras and a light. So you're gonna crack it. Yeah, buddy, I tell you. <laughs> so um, you still doing the uh, exercise? You look good. Well, you know I just recently had no, because I recently had uh, neck surgery, spine surgery. Oh man. Uh, C5, C6. In case you keep track, I had a herniated disc in my neck. And it's been bugging me forever, like since February and like even last year I had trouble. So it's been going on forever and I had a surgery October 6th to repair it, herniated disc. And Is it C5 and C6? Yeah, C5, okay. C6. Yep. And I'm just, I haven't taken a pain pill in like 10 days, but I was like that whole time I was like popping pain pills like a maniac, not working out or anything. And, but now I'm back on the straight and narrow. Wait, 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 you hadn't taken a, a pain pill in about 10 days. So before that you were taking a lot of pain pills? Like twice a day, oh, just to sleep. Right, yeah. yeah. They cut a big hole in my back and uh, hurt quite a bit when I got done with it. Well, you so, want to take a pain pill then? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> several. Right, so uh, are you on pain medication right now? No, I am not. Uh, no, nope. What about... But my glaucoma is healed. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. <laughs> what about, I had a visit from His Majesty King Bubba, by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> now that's good. Yeah, man. so that's good. So I'm getting back in the exercise thing and, uh... Because yeah, you that... dropped a lot of weight. I don't know if you noticed, but you did. Yeah, I saw the... <laughs> saw the old picture of me in the hallway, man. Yeah, no. I... Are you a vegetarian now? Vegan, man. Vegan? Vegan, totally. yeah. I'm completely animal product free. Leather belt? Leather belt? Yeah, I know. I still wear it. It's like I just don't, uh, well, I don't sorry. eat it. It's like you don't go up to go, oh, a uh, vegetarian? Uh, wh where's your cloth? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's already dead. Might as well make well, it. Right. It's already yeah. Well, it's already dead when you eat it as well. I, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I don't object to other people eating meat, by the way. They, I feel that they can eat it as much as they want. I just decided, you know, I'm going to try this for a while. You know what I found out? Uh, your whole body, you get a whole new body every single year. It takes about a whole year for your whole body to regenerate. And, uh, That's Doctor Who you're thinking no, about, no, no. man. No. The parts that don't, you could probably, the doctor told me you could probably fit in a paint can. Uh, but the rest of you, like your hair is only a couple months, like uh, about a month old. All right. your hair is about a month old. Your nails are only about, you know, a couple months old when you think about it. Yeah. All, your skin is renewed all the time, so the skin falls off. And you what about your, uh, you know? I have no idea. <laughs> Wouldn't that be your first question to the doctor? Like, yeah. how often does my junk get renewed? <laughs> You didn't even ask? Is that, how, is that how you would put it? Well, 
I like to keep it medical, so oh, okay. yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doctor, <laughs> my uh, junk. How often would that be? Yeah. How often does that get renewed? Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't mind getting it spruced up a little. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, man. Well, a little bit of scrotal plumping. <laughs> Tightening. It's still fair. raising when yeah, you get to just, a certain you know, it's in gravity. Everything seems to be getting pulled towards the center of the air. Do you remember, yeah. the, <laughs> do you remember the Rodney Dangerfield joke? Uh, you know you're getting old when your balls tell you when it's time to mow the lawn. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 He's good. Yeah. True story. Yeah, no, it does kind of get that way a little bit. Yeah. yeah. You got yeah. put a little wheel on them or something. <laughs> We have to yeah. take a commercial break. You're going to have to do all the cracking, man, so get into it. I'm ready. All right, so do it. Oh, uh... <laughs> hey, uh, we'll be right back. More prices right after this. No! no, no, no. What's up? We were just talking. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? Yeah, we, we're just talking about stuff we better not talk about on TV. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, what do you want to talk about now? Yeah, you, 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 come on. You're let's get going. You're going to be the host. Let's get practice. What's your work schedule going to be like when you leave the show? Uh, fairly relaxed, I think. Yeah, I do two shows a day on The prices, right? How many do you do? Well, I'm going to just walk the earth solving crimes. <laughs> oh, are you really? Oh, yeah. Are you going to have a briefcase with a light in it? No, no. <laughs> I've just got me, my skeleton, and my horse. Uh, we're going to walk the earth, and we'll come to your town, and I'll be like... Are you oh. not looking for trouble? We're not looking for trouble. No, no. I, I would be... But somehow, trouble always finds you. Yeah, right. That's it, the thing. That every week. Darn it. You, did, you wish a guy could just walk the earth, man. But, but no. it won't, it, it'll not be like, it won't always be a murder. You're like Jack Reacher. <laughs> Jack Reacher. Because of my haircut? No, Jack Reacher's famous. No, Jack Reacher has long hair. He's a famous, uh, uh, like, crime solver guy, a, bo a, bo a book series. Detective? Uh, no, he used to be a major in the army. Oh, I know the one you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, they but didn't Tom, Tom Cruise play Tom, him? Yeah, terrible Tom Cruise. They should have never had Tom. Oh. No offense to Tom Cruise, but they should have never had Tom You know... <laughs> I'm sorry, I know, Tom, that this is your favorite show. I know you've done it many times. Many times. <laughs> you know, we keep this thing right here. Uh, here it is. In case he's ever on, we keep this so that he won't be uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> you know what the thing is? Here's the thing is. I actually met... I, I, I met Tom Cruise once. He's not that small, but I'm not letting it go. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I'm sure he's a hell of a guy, but I never met him. But, I uh, met him once. He's he right. should have been in that movie. Jack Reacher in the books is like 6'5 and has long hair, is really brawny. But anyway, uh, he's, a, he, he's retired and he just hitchhikes around the country. Uh, he doesn't want any trouble. But trouble every book, always seems to find man, Something happens, man. He's yeah. got to take care of it. Yeah, yeah I, I keep trying to get out and they keep pulling me back in. Pulling me back in. <laughs> That's yeah. going to be you and the horse and the skeleton. Uh oh. Right, man. What are they. Uh, <laughs> I like that you can just say Crikey. whatever you want on this show. No, you can't. You know, you can't unless you're going to be done in two weeks. <laughs> I better, uh, I better, uh, I better Crikey. watch myself. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're out of time. We're out of time. That's Join, uh, when do you start? When do you start doing this? Uh, January. Join, January, join Drew in January. January. Look, if you watch CBS, you won't be able to hide from the promos. Uh, so be able to <laughs> Is that what they told you? Yeah. 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 Oh, you'll know he's on. He'll be everywhere. Yeah, they said I would get as many promos as you. You'll get as, as many promos as me. One in ten Rocket. years. You'll be great. I love that one, though. It was a good it was one. one. Good we'll carry everybody. We'll be right back. He's a fine young gentleman. He is a fantastic actor. He is an astronaut. He is a chef. 
He is one of the greatest standers, I think, of all time. Yeah, sure. He's in uh, New Girl on Fox. He is, of course, Max Greenfield, everybody. Max Greenfield. I'm very happy that you're here, but I am very disappointed in you. I know why. You, I asked you to come here. We had Metallica here for a week. I know you're a huge Metallica fan. I asked you to be here. You're like, yeah, I'll be there. And then you canceled on Metallica. I know. I know. It was a real, what a, what a regret. Uh, yeah, yeah, because you know what? Metallica turned up and they were like, uh, where's Max? And I was like, he's not I'm here. I'm sure, I'm sure. That yeah, was their they first were really thought. pissed. And it was, what a, what a disaster. I had so many questions, too. I'm such a big fan. Well, ask, ask any question you had for Metallica. Ask me, for I am now bonded with them as brothers. Okay, well, great. <laughs> what an opportunity. Okay, so in 82, mm -hmm. there were, they came out with one of my favorite albums, um, and I wanted to know what the inspiration for the title was. Drugs. <laughs> See, I don't necessarily know that that's true. No, 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 no. You asked me, talking to me is like talking to la Metallica. Okay. <laughs> but the name of the, of, of the album is called Metal Up Your Ass. Yes. Now, Metal Up Your Ass, the, well, the, the album cover is a picture of a toilet bowl. Right. And then coming out of the toilet bowl is a giant knife, which would, uh, Drugs. you know, imply <laughs> metal in your ass. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's a standard treatment for standing. <laughs> okay. But it does bring up a... a you, ever a done, you ever done any Class A drugs? Like real wow. powerful hard ones? <laughs> like, like super illegal ones where the statute of limitations is not up on it and you would get into a whole lot of trouble if you admitted it on TV? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, how's things going with you? How are things at New Girl? Everything all right? Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're up and running. It's season four. Season four, that's a big money one. That's when it goes to syndication and you guys all get rich. <laughs> Is that true? Sure, why not? <laughs> Who do I need to talk to to make that happen? You got an agent? Yeah. Well, talk to that person. <laughs> talk to that, yeah. talk to that. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't tell you about it? Sure, season four, when you get season four, that's it. You get your own gold helicopter and your star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. What do I do with a, a gold helicopter, exactly? Melt it down. <laughs> How does one go about doing that? You start a big fire. <laughs> I tell you, you got all the answers tonight. I know Metallica. <laughs> so you're a fan of the rock and roll, then? Really? Really for really? Yes. I feel like... And now, let me tell you something. I became a Metallica fan later in life. It just has this... There's certain energy to it where... Yeah, you should have been here when you were right next to it. I oh. know. I have these moments where you'll be like, I'm, I'm with my wife and the kids in the back seat, and you're driving to West Elm because you got to pick up like a poof, and you're thinking to yourself... <laughs> <laughs> you know this, you know this. Oh, listen, true. I've driven around looking for a poof more times than you can imagine. <laughs> you know this is, you know this is true. And then you're like... Don't often have the wife in the car, but hey, whatever. <laughs> And the only thing you can think to yourself is, I'm going to take this moment back by putting on some Metallica right No, no, I, I, I understand that. I understand that feeling. It's, it's the desire to still be, you know, crazy and young and vital. But you're a parent now, and you're not. Well, everyone... <laughs> but I want to be so bad. Because yeah. you just want to be like, hey, honey, do you want to ride the lightning right now? And, like, they don't necessarily want to ride the lightning. No, they but don't. I feel no. like I'm riding it myself. You, you don't really ride the lightning in a minivan. It doesn't... It's not what happens. <laughs> I stop right. I put, you don't rest right the lightning. <laughs> the joy I get of driving the minivan around now is that I drive slightly below the speed limit. Yeah. <laughs> that drives people crazy. Yeah. But wouldn't it? You like you pull up to school, the minivan door opens, and mm. as the mini door van opens, as your kid is getting out, like all the other kids and like the you know the teachers, whomever out there, the monitors, all of a sudden they start to hear Metallica come out of the car. Yeah. And, and the kid like, comes oh, out of the car. I wish that guy was my dad. Yeah. And you just give him the nod, like, yeah, that's how we that's how we're coming to school these days. Yeah. That's how we roll. That's how we're doing this. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, man. <laughs> 
Is that what you're into, Metallica? And what about a little bit of the punk rock? You listen into the punk rock? Yeah, I've been I've been listening to a lot of the old the old like television. Oh man, that's going way back. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. The, the old like New York television. Yeah, uh, New York Dolls, New York Dolls. Johnny Thunders, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. Well, that's the real deal, son. Well, welcome aboard. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Some Lou Reed. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. So you go, what you do is you get a babysitter and you take your wife out in the minivan. You guys go down Sunset and get some rock and roll. You want to? What was a nice moment? Well, I had a. Uh, I had my phone and we were listening to all these songs in the car and I, and I said to Lily, Lily was sitting in the back seat, I go, Lily, you tell me w when we hit a song that you want to stop and listen to because right. she's got real opinions about music. Right. And we went through like a lot of stuff and you know, I have some of my wife's music on there which is a lot of Madonna and we passed, which mm -hmm. I have nothing against Madonna, I love Madonna, but we Sure, sure, I love that. that English guy. And we asked, <laughs> we ended up on the replacements and she goes, stop right there. Oh, nice. And I got very excited. Oh, well. Go, what taste hold on, hold my on, daughter hold. has. My youngest boy. Yeah. Four years old, Joy Division. That's nice. Yes, that is nice. That's nice. That's nice. He's like, radio. That's my boy. Take that, the Wiggles. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I like that he stopped on Joy Division. Yeah, no, he likes Joy Division. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What that's a good movie. You ever see the, the movie they made about Joy Division? Control? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, no, that's a good film. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to come on and plug somebody else's film. I know, but I love that movie. Was, was Anton so Corbin did that movie? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's talented. a good, yeah, yeah, it's good, it's a good movie. Yeah, good movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else is a good movie? You ever see that movie with Steve Coogan, uh, The Trip? You know, I haven't, but they made another one. Oh, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah, it's good movie. There's two, yeah. yeah good movie. Yeah. You know what's another good movie? Huh. I saw, uh, there's a movie called, uh, I think, God, I don't know, I just thought about it, uh, Edward Scissorhands. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because it's a parable. It's a parable. That's what I love about that movie. It's like, you know, hey, get out of here, Edward Scissorhands. You're different from us. Oh. Yeah. No, I get it. <laughs> yeah, it's about, it's about acceptance. Acceptance, right. Yeah. It's Kafkaesque in that regard. It's a bit like Metamorphosis, don't you think? Sure. <laughs> you know what else is a good movie? Well, Big. Big is a great movie. I tell you, Tom Hanks is American uh -oh. treasure, isn't he? I tell you. <laughs> Big might be the best Crikey. movie I've ever seen in my life. No. <laughs> no, man. Well, what's the best movie? Inglorious Bastards is the best Crikey. movie I've ever seen. But even when they're dancing on the piano? They don't do that in Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> But what if they did? Then it would be an even better movie. You're there absolutely you go. right. There Max, go. we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's do an awkward. We've never done this before. Okay, here, ready. Awkward handshake. Do what? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Totally new thing. We're introducing it tonight, along with Jeff's sister. <laughs> <laughs> brother, Susan, my brother. Yeah. All right. Ready? Okay. Actually, you know what's a really awkward handshake? When somebody goes in for a different kind of handshake that you... Right, I'm good for fist pump. Yeah, okay, right, right, right. Okay, okay, all right. Yeah, so thanks so much. Oh, Craig. no, it's, it's been, been great. great. <laughs> <laughs> then, then there's like this move. <laughs> Let, let's try that again. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then you make out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Bob, the, yeah. uh, I want to talk to you. Bob is the warm-up comedian uh, for the show. Thank right. you. Right. No, it's okay. <laughs> Jeff and I, Jeff and I, Jeff and I just wanted to have a word about tonight's audience, right, Jeff? Yeah. Yeah, we wanted to have a discussion about it. Yeah, we, uh, we thought the audience was, uh, was a little too warm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might have overfluffed. Yeah. What I'm saying is, Bob, if, if the audience for tomorrow night could be slightly less enthusiastic. Okay. A little less fluffed. Fluffed is the... 
Yeah, just mm -hmm. get them to right to, but don't take them all away. Right. <laughs> Me and Jeff will finish him off. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> You've been. Can I do it? Yeah. You've been on. served. <laughs>